So we're in Buffalo, New York right now, and Tessa decided to take me on a date night. And to? she knows me too good. We're at a haunted location. Better yet, <laughs> a haunted asylum. So this location was built from 1880s, right? Yes. It was established in 1880s as one of the biggest uh, asylums in the area of Buffalo, New York, and it got an influx of patients that just flooded into this location then that's when kind of the turmoil you know there's stories obviously when you have a location like this you're always going to have a bad seed in the bunch and yes there was some sort of torturous acts stories that we've heard of eventually it closed and here we are we're sitting in a massive section of the abandoned facility and uh, a lot of stories of construction workers running out paranormal accounts happening uh, people seeing apparitions ghosts all sorts of different stories i mean Locals have heard about this place. I even heard about this place. I've been trying for years to get in. We want to take you with us. All right, let's go. God, this place is massive. I just hear screams. It's almost to the point where I want to cover my ears because I could hear screaming coming from, especially the upper parts. What do you feel? Do you feel it in this section right here of the building? That window up there, it's... You see it, that long one right there? Yeah. I could hear people screaming. Like I'm talking, screaming and pounding on the windows like they want to get out of here. And what's crazy is I feel like there's more people in here than there should be. gives me the chills. I don't even want to get close to it right now. I don't know what it is about this structure, but this main spot right here just draws me in. And I definitely want to get some of my equipment and try to contact whoever is still here. Maybe try to figure out if they're okay. You know, they were people that were once living, brought here for whatever happened to them in their life. It's like going in with a respectful manner too, trying to figure it out. But I mean, it is haunting. It's very haunting. The building is very gothic. We're very close to investigating this place. It's amazing. Well, and it creeps me out because it looks like there's an army of people standing behind us at this gate. They know that we can see them or that we're talking about them. Yeah. And they're standing there at the gate, staring at us. That's weird. <laughs> it's terrible. Let's go check it out the rest of the place. So this is the abandoned section. Back that way is where they redid everything. A couple years ago, I came here with a friend and there was like a soft opening is what they called it. So I came here not for the soft opening, but for the intention of me kind of sneaking in and trying to pick up on things psychically, but then also investigating the place. I snuck up the stairs and there was a sign that said, do not enter. Apparently it was like stairway to go to these areas right over here. What's weird is, is I heard a woman singing and then it sounded like she had gone up the stairs so I kind of thought maybe people could go up there so I followed the voice and as I followed the voice went up the stairs I got to the top and I opened the door and I realized that the door locked behind me and I heard the singing stop everything kind of went really quiet it was like that vacuum feeling that I've had happen before in other locations I heard footsteps and I'm talking heavy heavy footsteps running at me I got the sense put it this way that somebody was coming to attack me I ran towards the door and I tried opening the door and it wouldn't open and I just started banging and finally a security guard came up and he was like you know did you not read the sign ever since then I've been so interested in what actually happened here connecting maybe with some of the people that passed away here or maybe the souls that reside here for whatever reason that may be 
but it was probably one of the freakiest things that ever happened to me.